what's up everybody my name is Renato Shamedi but you guys can call me Rainimations. Welcome to another drawing tutorial of course not really a tutorial but it is a drawing it is a drawing series where I tend to draw uh, every day a 15 minute drawing a 15 minute yeah 15 minute drawing uh, I don't know, I'm like tripping over my thoughts at this point it is late at night. I just finished doing the job application. So it's tired. Okay, let's get started with the drawing. Today is the outpost. So, off the top of my head, I can't really think of an in of an outpost, but I think I can come up with something really quickly. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be sticking with what uh, with just this type of. Uh, drawing uh, thing so I'd be drawing very basic shapes perspectives and all that sort of thing maybe you know add cubes on top of each other and see what I could build off of it and, and stuff let's get started with the timer the timer is gonna be 15 minutes like usual and begin first I'm gonna actually darken up the background uh, not too dark yeah that looks fine and yeah, let's get started with the apples. I want that uh, it to be like a giant house sort of thing. Maybe it has like a building going this way, opposite direction like that. And this is gonna be going outwards. Like that. Maybe some wooden planks right here. Elevator of some sort, uh, a thing like here, maybe some sort of mechanic, and it holds a giant spool or a giant wheel thing. It be a tire. I'm just coming up with it on the spot, so. If you're thinking that I that I made this up, and I knew where where I was going with it at some point, I, I don't. I'm just making it up as I go. Hopefully, my, uh, everything's really easy to read across. Maybe do something like that. It will get connected somewhere here, and this will be connected somewhere here. This is the side of the outpost. Uh, I'm fixing up some of the lines if I notice that they're, they seem kind of off. Uh, maybe make it more straight. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this sort of thing. It, look like a, it looks like a tent sort of thing. No, it won't go up. The best thing about doing a quick time thing, a quick time drawing, is that you focus mainly on uh, getting the point across. Not, uh, don't focus so much on getting uh, a really nice drawing across. So when you get the point across, it looks a lot in more interesting sometimes. You get a lot more interesting looking shapes. The makeup of, uh, of the housing, maybe this one will have half a roof or something like that because it wasn't fully built. And then like a giant umbrella of some sort. Somewhere here. I don't know why I'm thinking of an umbrella, but I just thought of an umbrella out of nowhere. And, you know, have some sort of way for the uh, for the, uh, the people to get up. And that, this will be it. And it will roll up. This will be a boatload of a rope. Actually, and that will be, instead of going dead center, it will be off to the side a little. So, like that. Let's quickly select everything from here to here and around. 
and just move it over to the side, kind of like that. Maybe move it lower, but not, uh, but not too low. Deselect everything, press shift. Here I'm gonna add like, and if it was connected to everything, just tie it around. This is kind of like extra rope. Uh, what else? I was gonna have another rope here. This is gonna be kind of like a lever knots. So they just like when they're pulling themselves up, it just like hits knots every single time. Now we got the elevator mechanic going for this hideout. Well, it's not really a, <laughs> a very luxurious hideout, but you know, it's just getting there. For how I uh, for a hideout, it's not bad. Maybe I'll have some wood planks of all sizes. Door somewhere here. It'll be like really badly cut out. This will be the entrance to the hideout. A window probably somewhere here. So then whoever is inside can actually see who's coming towards the uh, towards the hat. Mm, yep. Ah, it's looking a lot better. You know I just noticed something because I just recently got a job and I won't be able to watch my enemy the same, at the same time as usual but you know that's okay I guess I'll watch it uh, whenever I'm off which will be every other uh, every other time okay and I'm actually telling you guys this that I got a job recently because of the fact that if you actually have watched some of my videos prior to today you would uh, you probably would want to keep up with the lifestyle of the uh, of the ray <laughs> no of me uh, my lifestyle so then if you ever do seem to like my videos for any reason and you want to keep up to date which is a good uh, moment to tell you guys to like like and subscribe for more videos like this if you ever did want to keep up to date for content you know uh, it's good to know what the availability of the person that you're gonna be looking forward to watching is gonna be like. Because then, you know, if my if my schedule's too busy, then I won't be able to make a lot of videos for you guys, which I'm hoping to still be able to make videos. I actually told my, I actually told my girlfriend that I was hoping that that was one of the main things I really wanted to do whenever I got off of work. To do video and you know do any side hustle that I need to do to survive in this world. This is wonder this world. Uh, what else? Maybe I have like bubble back here. Maybe no, you know a bush. And I think I'm gonna have a tree going through here think about the tree in a three this a three dimensional way and the tree is gonna stick through here and come out through the top of this area so it's gonna go through the highlight hideout but not completely through And 
then this portion is gonna be like a big uh, piece. It's gonna be coming like that. Okay, now that head out is coming out looking nice. Uh, some perspective, some grass here, uh, maybe some uh, wooden logs to hold the everything else. Uh, something to hold. Yeah, kind of like that. And there is some of it right here. Just no, it's going through, but it's not going all the way through this area. Like that. Here you have some stick going this direction. Like that. And maybe you have one that goes like that across. One that goes down. And there is some of the things that you see there. Here it would connect kind of like that. When it's bigger, it, it is easy to read. Okay. okay. And you know, make sure to whip it with the wooden planks that you need. All of this area. And that seems to be kind of to my liking. Not 100% sure about everything, but I like a lot of it. Uh, that seems like a nice hideout. This actually looks like a satellite dish, so I'm gonna go with that sort of thing. Maybe it's like some sort of satellite, a satellite dish instead of an umbrella. Like a circle window right here. Maybe it'll have like someone just staring out. And their secret and their hideout. Uh, what else? Some horizon mod. This is good. Uh, this is a good technique that I'm gonna be doing really quickly right here. Whenever this tools load, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna add like some sort of texture, which I'm gonna be passing all throughout this area right here. Right? And you're probably wondering why are you throwing out to add throwing texture? That's not that important, right? But it is. It is very important because it gives a nice material. It's like a ground material to everything, kind of like dirt, right, and then you pass another brush, maybe not that one, uh, just, just figure out whichever one is more co and most convenient, uh, this one's going to be good for shadow areas, uh, just passing it roughly around here. So all this has is going to be covered in shadow and it's good for painting the tree a little and the wood and passing it over the areas that the shadows definitely going to be hitting I could always erase some of this uh, while well, being careful of the lines that I have previously drawn because I'm doing this all on the same layer as the line work which is not really that smart to be honest with you but I already did it I'm not going to stop at this point if anything I could just keep improving uh, and then just add little textures more texture uh, and I use my uh, no <laughs> uh, maybe 
this one was not just that one that looked like how about this one? Oh yeah that, that looks that looks decent. Yeah. But it's too dark, which is a downside. So I'm gonna have to make it brighter and I'm just gonna pass it around. Okay. This this one should be on a layer separate. So I'm gonna pass this all around like this, right? Alright, and then to darken it a little, do a little patches here and there, like that, especially around the edges like that, and that, and that, and then darken it up, and pass it around the edges again, maybe pass it around the bottom of this area, and what we're going to be doing is taking all of this texture that we already did, maybe add more texture to it. More roughness to it, more rough texture to it, which gives it like a nice look, right? And then we're gonna take this layer, put it above, and then we're gonna press to multiply or sometimes uh, darken. Darken is gonna be the, it is the best option that I found. Well, anyways, this is basically the final result of. The, uh, the base, I don't think they're going to be doing a lot more to it, uh, if anything I'm just going to be coloring this area in, doing some really rough texturing, which makes it look kind of a little bit more three dimensional, uh, rough texturing here, a lot of rough texturing there, and make sure that that tire looks really dark for that I could use let's see what does that look raised brush no I'll just pass this brush over it that Or just do a really quick pass with uh, a different layer like that and then turn down the opacity so it's not it says not too noticeable right now I did notice something that I messed up on this I didn't put any leaves on the background which obviously sucks because uh, you want to have leaves for the background uh, for at least and uh, the background that I want uh, I wanted to have leaves uh, not all of it though, but you know, enough leaves that I can get the point across. Uh, that way, I did that so it gives the illusion of it going inwards, it's not just like Alright, so and I go to this darken layer, right? And pick a brush that looks like it might give me the result that I want, right? And I'm just gonna be roughing out some leaves, I don't care too much. Be, uh, go very rough, very big, very bold, uh, for some of it. And no, just darken up whatever areas you think need darkening, and lighten up whatever areas need lightening and stuff. And just like that, we got an area with tree maybe I'll put some leaves on here and because all of this is covered in shadow you can go for a layer under it and it just add a bunch of shadows like this really quick shadows right there like that and all through here but not through here, not through this area. And yeah, through down here too. So why not? And I think this will be the finalized piece. Not too much work. Not, not, and no more extra. And no more extra stuff. I don't want to uh, pack it too much. Plus, uh, the idea of it being simplistic is supposed to be there. Uh, 
another thing, quick technique. You know, like I always say, if you want to make the gradient sky, you just select whatever area you want to be gradient, and then boom, boom. Make sure it looks slightly like a gradient sky. Maybe zoom out, uh, flip it. Kind of like that. And we select it. And voila! We got uh, we got the background that we wanted. We want uh, we got a picture that, that looks nice. We pro uh, we probably could do a lot more adjusting to it, but I don't feel like doing it. Plus, we had already ran out of our 15 minute timing. Uh, thank you all for joining me for today's wonderful video. If you did like it for any reason, you know, please leave a like. If you disliked it for any reason, leave a dislike. You know, leave like, dislike and you know so on and so forth i'm gonna put the like the little logo stuff that i usually put all over uh, the art pieces like the inktober logo right here 2020 and i also put my own personal logo which is a watermark my own personal watermark right here because i post the stuff on instagram so follow me on instagram if you want to keep uh, see the artwork ahead of time and then you know put the little out of the sketchbook I do that one because I noticed that a lot of people, they do a lot of digital art, but they don't show what softwares that they do it in, which is pretty much a downside because like, let's say I do a really wonderful piece and then someone's trying to inspire to be like that artist, right? I will personally want to see what sort of software they're using. I mean, software's not everything, but it's something. And Autodesk Sketchbook Pro is free, doesn't bother anybody like that all it does is take up space in your computer or in your top uh, or in your tablets depending which one you use now there's a lot of thing uh, things about this drawing that I missed out on coloring just like uh, no coloring I mean shading because <laughs> black and white is a shade and uh, like the umbrella or more like the satellite I, I missed out on that there's a lot of details I missed out on but the more uh, the major point is still there I could see it that's all that matters. If I wanted to add texture to the tree, I could add it. It's this basically like if you're doing a thumbnail sketch, you do it all within like 20, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then afterwards, you take this thumbnail and then you refine it, and then you refine that one, and then you refine it to like a point where you like think about it like that's a masterpiece. Oh wait, anyways, I'm I'm rambling on. Thank you all for joining me. If you did like it, leave a like. If you disliked it for any reason, leave a dislike. Uh, if you want to check out more content like this, uh, my uh, my channel uh, is right here, but my newest video is up here. Uh, follow me on Instagram by going to my YouTube uh, channel link down below, and and you know clicking on the Instagram link this there, and then you. Can follow me on Instagram too. Thank you all for joining me and have a good one. Goodbye.